Well, in today's Health Watch, a fast food giant is helping fight against superbugs. And could a new blood test increase breast cancer survival? Lisa Siegel's here. Yep, and that's really cool. A first of its kind on the West Coast, a new clinical trial, and it's still open for enrollment, so very good. But first, we have to talk about in and out who doesn't, right? Yeah. First, fast food giants are taking steps to fight killer superbug infections. Yes, in and out is the latest fast food giant to say it plans to take the antibiotic-free plunge. Well, what does that mean? It means they'll start buying their beef from farms that raise cattle without antibiotics. Now, earlier this week, Subway rolled out antibiotic-free chicken, and other fast foods have done the same. What is the concern? It's the germ-killing drugs in our food supply could actually increase the number of drug resistant superbugs in people. All right, this could be a huge breakthrough, Pat and Paul, a blood test that may save the lives of some breast cancer survivors. And while it's still experimental, some think it may be a lifesaver. Take a look. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to this. Nancy Zaher is about to get a blood test she hopes might put her mind at ease. At just 28, I was diagnosed with triple negative stage three breast cancer. Triple negative means Nancy's breast cancer cells don't react to the hormones estrogen or progesterone, or a growth factor called HER2. Triple negative is the most aggressive subtype of breast cancer that we diagnose. Sadly, they have a rapid recurrence and they have the lowest survival rate. The good news there is that if you make it five years with no evidence of disease, you actually end up doing better and surviving longer than your estrogen positive sisters. Breast cancer surgeon Christy Funk of Pink Lotus Breast Center is running a new clinical trial. It's to help more women like Nancy make it to that critical five year mark. It involves a monthly blood test to search for the earliest signs cancer might be returning. You could call it a liquid biopsy. We are going to be able to detect recurrence of cancer eight and a half months prior to it being detectable by imaging like on a PET or a CT scan. If tumor particles are found to be circulating in the blood, treatment could start ASAP. Before it actually ever lands in liver or lung or bone and takes that woman's life. Nancy's nervous her tests could come back positive. She's already been through a lot. Chemotherapy, a double mastectomy, and I have done radiation. But if her test shows no cancer traces, for the time being at least. I know it's not coming back. She's great, and we wish her the best, of course. And that clinical trial still accepting more people. It's open enrollment for two years, and you can get all the information on CBSLA.com. Click on links and numbers. Well, that sounds Isn't that amazing if it works. Yeah. yeah.